how to create a free remote desktop or Windows computer on Google Cloud. So if you have a Google Cloud account, um, this is how to do it. If you don't have one, you can go to cloud.google.com. It's basically where you can create free savers online. Now with these savers you create, you can create a Windows computer online. And even if you don't have a laptop or a computer, you can use your mobile phone to access this computer. So imagine having a computer like a desktop on the internet that you can always access and have do whatever you want to do on a normal computer for free just by using your Google accounts because it's practically free to every Google user. So this is how to go about it. First thing, Google charges you after the first um, $300 they give you. So they first give you like $300 credits. So when the $300 credits get exhausted, you will start paying for whatever server you create. So the idea is if you just want to get started into Google AdSense, you want to be making money from Google AdSense, remember I have a bot that helps you generate traffic and all that. Or you just want to have a computer, you can actually install Windows um, software or maybe Photoshop or something or whatever software you often use on your computer you just want to have another computer you can always access on the internet and you're already familiar with um, remote desktop which is RUDP this is just what you have to do so firstly click on this three section over here and link a card so Google wants you to first link a credit card or a debit card before they even give you the $500 worth of bonus this is just for them to just know that you're a real person so when you click on billing click on payment method and add a card to it so you can add any card if you're in Nigeria I would advise to use the gray app so this gray app helps you create like a mastercard if you use cheaper cash it wouldn't work I've tried a couple of these voucher card providers and most of them were just saying um sorry most of them were just saying stuff like um, can't be used for this product, can't be used for this product. So this means some of, some of all these card, um, all these virtual card services were not able to pay for it, but cheaper cash was able to pay for it. So that's my recommendation if you're doing this from Nigeria. Okay, so after um, getting to like, after getting to like put your ATM card, you should now go back to Google Cloud, which is on this Google Cloud. So once you're back here, after you've linked up your ATM card, just click on this menu put your mouse on compute engine and then click on vm instance you can see it over here vm instance now i just deleted one of my instances just so i can create a new one for you all to see so once you're on this particular position all you have to do is to click on create instance and when you click on create instance it will ask you like what do you want to call this instance now just imagine this is a computer so i'll just simply say um youtube um bots right because this is where i want to install the bots software and i will from this computer which is this virtual computer i will not be driving traffic to my you know youtube channel so this is what i want to call the name of this computer now if, if there are multiple uh, multiple of them i could call one two three you know you get the check so this section that says region and zone i don't even bother touching any of them they're not really that important to me the default um settings i often set is to put general purpose over here and then click on e2 and then i often scroll down click on custom and then i make sure i have at least eight gigs of ram because that is what you actually need to you know be able to work with windows 10 and above effectively without lags okay so i'm going to also need about um four calls i don't think two calls got it for me i think four calls is what i need so i've been able to set four calls over here and eight gigs of ram now the next thing I need to do is to set the operating system, which is the OS. So by default, when you create these servers, they're just created as a Linux server. For those of us who host websites, we know what the Linux server is. But um, since we want to be installing like Windows computer um, kind of softwares like your Photoshop, Microsoft, and you know, other software is on Windows. Since, so since we're actually using a Windows desktop, what the virtual Windows desktop would have to specifically go and select that particular boot or that particular OS. So where it says boot disk, which is what it should be booting as, I'm going to click on change and on the change, I will change the operating system from Debian and I'll change it down to Windows Safer. So now it will now ask me for whatever version. I think the, the normal version here, Windows Server 22 is, is very okay. I don't really think you should actually change it to anything because this will give you the latest um, update, which is Windows 11. So next, I'm just going to select this and put SSD and I'll just click select and that's all. Now my bill is quite very high at the moment. You can see it's 223 
um, dollars. This is what I'm going to be paying a month, but I get to pay 0 0.81 dollars per hour. Now, if you're going to be doing this for the first time, like I said, Google gives you free $300. So this will be practically you creating like a free computer to use for that month. But just do know that it's either you create a new Gmail account the following month and then a new card on your gray, or you just have to keep paying that amount of money. So I'm just going to click on create. And on the part two, I will show you how to access and log into this computer.